Hey guys, this is Sapna Vyas and I'm live again to answer your question. I got one question last time and that was um, how to get rid of stretch marks. Now, so obviously in this session I'm going to answer your question how to get rid of or how to prevent stretch marks. First of all, why do we get stretch marks? We get stretch marks when either you reduce your body weight drastically or you gain weight drastically. So any changes that happen in a short duration of time drastically, that's when you get stretch marks. You might have seen some bodybuilders or some people who lift really heavy weight. They have, you know, especially guys, they have stretch marks here. So how to prevent stretch marks? You can prevent stretch marks by reducing weight slowly and gradually. Um, you can reduce one kg per week. That's how if you reduce weight slowly and gradually, chances are you can avoid stretch marks. That is one. Secondly, drink enough water, keep yourself hydrated. And third thing, you should always keep your skin moisturized. If you don't want to buy the uh, moisturizers that you get in the market, you can make homemade moisturizers using honey and even boiled potato and honey. You can mix it up and then wash yourself after a few minutes. You can also use curd as a good moisturizer. You can also use coconut oil and other oil that you would love to. So that way, after every shower, you keep your skin moisturized. That way, it, you, it will help you avoid stretch marks. But I'll tell you something, If I'll give you an example why you should not really be panicky about stretch marks because stretch marks is not a medical condition. It is not really harmful to you or it's not really a serious problem. Most of the people, majority of the girls have stretch marks. Either they have it right now or they might have stretch marks in the future. So that's completely okay. That's a part of being a normal human being. So don't be so much panicked when you get those few lines. Even most of the celebrities, if you Google their images, they have stretch marks, but it's completely okay. We look at the talent of the people. If somebody is a great actress or if somebody is really nice dancer, singer, we look at their talent. We don't really look at their stretch marks. So in the same way, focus on the good things in you, focus on developing who you are, rather than fo focusing on those two, three small lines on your body, right? I'll tell you one example. I'll, this is a question for you. You have to answer this. Uh, if there are two girls, right? Girl A, who's really thin and skinny and okay, and who has no stretch marks. And there is the girl B, who is really fit, who has got muscular thighs, good quads, good hamstrings, and some stretch marks on them. So who do you think would look good and who do you think would look more attractive? I'm sure the girl with the stretch marks but toned and well-built legs. So in the same way, if you have stretch marks on your butt or your thighs or even on your arms, focus on building those muscles rather than worrying about those few lines. And trust me, you look really attractive because you know you have stretch marks. The world doesn't know you have stretch marks. So why feel inferior to someone? And understand one thing. that. Advertisements constantly tell us one thing, that if you don't have a particular skin color, you're really not okay. If you don't know English, for example, you are really not okay, you are not good enough. If you, are not a, if you don't have a particular height, if you are not like 5'9", 5'10", 6", you're really not okay. But believe me, you, if they don't make you feel inferior or if they don't make you feel that you are not okay, how are you supposed, how will you be buying those products? So please don't fall into the trap of advertisements. You are just okay. Just, I'm not saying that don't grow. You should grow because that's how life, that's to enjoy the beauty of life, to reach your max. You should grow in every which way possible. But please don't, you, don't, you should not change because you feel inferior to someone. Enjoy the good things in others, enjoy the good thing in you. But don't change, don't force yourself to feel sad or inferior because you have just those few lines. You are worth it. You are much way beyond better than those silly little lines. So if you already have stretch marks, try to keep yourself moisturized, drink enough water. And trust me, it's not really worth it to go under the knife or go for surgeries because one, they might be painful. Two, they're expensive. And three, 
you might repair your stretch marks but you are not repairing your inferiority complex so you might get rid of the stretch marks through surgeries but then some then after few days you will really not like your skin color because you want to feel inferior because of some reason right so you have to get over the inferiority the depression the feeling of i'm not okay rather than the feeling of the stretch marks the, those silly little lines that you have on your body you are beautiful and you are just fine so don't worry about the stretch marks yes nevertheless try uh, to prevent them try to get rid of them but it's all right you are superbly awesomely okay okay so i wish that i helped you in i mean getting to know how to prevent stretch marks if you have any further doubts any further queries please comment below next time when i'm live i'll surely pick up one of your questions and i'll answer that in the meantime you do one thing if you love watching my videos if you find my videos useful if you like hearing my answers then you can subscribe to my youtube channel my youtube channel is youtube.com slash sapnavyas that is youtube.com slash s-a-p-n-a-v-y-a-s make sure that you subscribe or i'll haunt you in your dreams <laughs> i'll see you very soon bye